Okay, it's time to get started. We're going to talk about antigen presentation, antigen receptors, and highlights of congenital immunodeficiency. So let's get started. So before we start, let's remember basically how antigens are uh, first recognized uh, when they enter the system. So you can imagine that there are toll-like receptors that would recognize PAMPs, as we have talked before. For example, uh, TLR4 would recognize LPS on an in, uh, invading microbe. So the resident dendritic cells and tissue macrophages are found throughout the epithelium and connective tissues of the body. How do we then initiate an adaptive immune response? So we're talking here about the T and B cell recognition system. So remember that with antigen presentation, we would have, for example, an immature dendritic cell in the epidermis, uh, which is a Langerhans cell, and the antigen is captured by the dendritic cell, and then inflammatory cytokines are released, and the dendritic cell would lose adhesiveness and then migrate through the epithelium and then enter the afferent lymphatic vessel. And this is where, at this time, the dendritic cell would be maturing. It enters the lymph node then, and this is where the uh, presentation to the naive T cell would take place. So remember that uh, it is the major histopatibility complex that is uh, presenting the antigen here to the T cell. And in the case of the T cell, it is peptide antigens that are being presented. The B cells are much, much more versatile, but the T cells like to present, uh, be presented with proteins. And they recognize proteins. And so what are the APCs? These are the specialized cells that capture microbial antigens and display them for recognition. What are examples of APCs? We have macrophages, B cells, and dendritic cells. Remember that the dendritic cells are the most effective. So let's imagine that the innate system, in this case, the uh, dendritic cells are presenting to the uh, to the T cell, and uh, which is the adaptive system. Remember the T cells uh, receptors recognize the peptide peptide antigens in this manner. So what is MHC restriction? This is when T cells can only see peptides when they are displayed by that individual's MHC molecules. And this is happening secondarily in the lymph node. Remember that this interaction between the APC and the naive T cells occurs in the lymph node. Remember, we're talking about the MHC proteins. What are they also known as? They're also known as human leukocyte antigens, or HLAs. So remember that these were discovered as the genetic locus, that is, the principal determinant of acceptance or rejection of tissue grafts exchanged between individuals. In all species, there are two sets of highly polymorphic genes called the class 1 and class 2 MHC genes that encode molecules that display peptides to T cells. So remember that the MHC molecules can be divided into MHC class 1 and MHC class 2 molecules. So the class 1 uh, correspond to the CD8 T helper cells and the class II molecules correspond to the CD4 cells. Sorry, what I'm saying is the CD8 cells, those are the, um, so I don't mean that they are the T helper cells, the CD8 cells are also known as the um, cytotoxic T lymphocytes, or the T killer cells. Uh, and this is a type of white blood cell that kills cancer cells that are infected, um, or cells that are damaged in other ways. Now the uh, the CD4 cells, uh, these are uh, are often referred to as t CD4 cells because they are T helper cells, and they are called T helper cells because of their main role to send signals to other types of immune cells, including the CD8 killer cells that uh, then destroy the infectious particles. We're going to talk more about the uh, CD4 cells uh, later in the lecture and in the next lecture too. 
First, let's talk about the class 1 MHC. And uh, remember that the class 1 MHC correspond to the CD8 cells. And these are expressed on all nucleated cells. And of course, this does not include red blood cells because red blood cells do not have a nucleus. How about the class 2 MHC? Well, these are CD4. Uh, these are the CD4 cells. They express mainly on dendritic cells, macrophages, and B cells. Remember, CD4, class 2 MHC, class 1 MHC, CD8. So here's a quick MCQ. Which receptor on antigen-presenting cells presents antigen peptide to T cells to initiate an immune response? A, MHC, B, integrin, C, CD8, D, CD4. And of course, the answer is A, MHC. Now, just as a quick review, remember that the lymph node captures antigen from epithelium and connective tissue, whereas blood-borne antigens are captured by antigen-presenting cells in the spleen. So remember that protein antigens of the microbes that enter the body are captured mainly by dendritic cells and concentrated in the peripheral lymphoid organs where immune responses are initiated.